Hello there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party. What do you call a blind dinosaur's dog? I don't know what. Do you think he's Saurus Rex? <laughs> So it is finally here. A billion dollars later. Did it make a billion? It was like a billion. It was like 1.2 billion or something like that. It was a lot. It was a lot of monies. And they had a lot of people in those freaking auditoriums. We saw it like yeah, a bunch of times that weekend. It was, like that first time that we saw, like we've been to midnight showings or like 6.30 showings for movies before. And it's always energetic and so crowded. But for some reason, when we went to go see Jurassic World, it was just so pumped and hyped. Like everybody was just like, like out of their seat control like out of control for this movie and it was just ridiculous and it was so much fun so I, I'm I'm a little uh, pessimistic about this movie because I, I don't know it just hasn't grabbed me yet but uh, we shall see maybe this trailer will change my mind yeah and that's the thing I read the synopsis and the first thing I thought was this feels a lot like the lost world yeah. which doesn't make me really you know hopeful because I did not like the lost world movie love the lost world book hated the lost world movie and that's coming from a huge Jurassic Park fan all the toys but either way <laughs> it's it's exciting that we're getting another entry in Jurassic World Park series, um, but I'm really apprehensive about this one. I know we got Chavaro writing, we got Bayona directing, we've got Giacchino doing the score, so let's find out what they have in store for us with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Yes. Now. So, uh, what are you dating like an accountant now? Or? Owen. Ventriloquist? Stop it. You love a dummy. This is not why we're here. You can blame Feels like Jurassic Park 3 already. Try to shame me. Aww. I know why we're here. A rescue op. Save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Blue is alive. We raised her. <laughs> You're my girl, Blue. <laughs> what was that little? <laughs> I know. Animals deserve the same protections given to other species. <laughs> that was cool. Or should they just be left to die? Oh, look at that thing. Did you do a daily thing? These creatures were good oh. for us. Yeah. <laughs> if we're not careful, oh. they're gonna be here after. There's like a little scene in Throwing a little VO. Yeah. You know me. Love the Jurassic Park car turned. The Explorer. Probably, like super pissed that he left her. He left us! He left us! Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Hell yeah, finally! Uh -oh. oh come on! Well that was short lived, but okay. Rexy. Life cannot be contained. Say it. Life breaks free. They're Say like, it. not again. Say not it. again. Life finds a way. Yes. You should say uh. Find a way. He doesn't need to anymore, though. I guess. The uh is implied. Uh oh. Tom Cruise there. Yeah. Is that other dinosaur there? Oh no, look at all the dinosaurs in the water. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, destruction and mayhem and blowing up. And uh, yeah, it's Volcano meets Dante's Peak meets Jurassic Park 3 meets The Lost World. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, it, there was that cool scene with the... I saw the, the photo of it, but the scene with the uh, Baronix and the lava kind of coming down. Mm -hmm. And he's like standing there being all you know angry which is cool that they're bringing in dinosaurs that we have yet to see kind of in the series at least in the movies right sort of but uh i don't know it was okay yeah i mean the carnotaurus too uh which we i only, love jeff Goldblum. we only got to see a fraction of the carnotaurus in jurassic park 3 mm -hmm. like just poorly used when he walks up and there's the poop and he's just like 
Yeah. And he like and turns he around away. and walks away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for him to be taken down all quick by the T-Rex, I yeah. mean, uh, come on. Like, give but it's like, a little. And then the T-Rex is just chilling there, so are they like buddies now? Since, you know, he's like in the, the like we saw the little scene where he's chilling in the... I mean, that could be after. Maybe they captured him already when he's in the truck. Oh, yeah, he's in the truck and they have him. But it's very possible that it could be he captured them, captured it already. Well, here's the thing. There. I mean, it, it obviously, that is them when they get to the island and the island's starting to fall apart and all the poor little dinosaurs fell off the yeah, cliff. Yeah, all and the, the um, uh, herbivore Connor, yeah. uh, dinosaurs are all falling off the cliff and it's just like, Mom! Well, you're a good dinosaur. I don't want you to leave. <laughs> and like all the like the spew of the the volcano and yeah. stuff. It's like they already been through that. That's what's fucked up. Except yeah, for they, the meteor. Yeah, they. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I mean, that's 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 the cool thing too. Is that's where I'm kind of okay with it because. Jurassic Park, at least in the Lost World novel, um, and in the movie for the Lost World, they talk about how the Isla Sorna was powered by geothermal. So the plant is, you know, functioning off of the, the heat from the geothermal, and that's what's keeping the power the on. Yeah, so that's the cool thing, is that it makes sense, because even though it wasn't in the book, but if, the, if they did it, or it wasn't in the book for the first movie, um, or the first book, if they did that to Isla Sorna, which I think even Peter Ludlow says it in the movie that it's the power plant's geothermal, why wouldn't Isla Nublar be powered by geothermal as well? So that kind of makes sense that there's a volcano there and it would kind of blow up if they that was the They gotta take case. all the all the, the dinosaurs to Island B. Site B, yeah. Site they're, B. Yeah, they gotta, again, no, damn, again. we keep going back to Isla Sorna. Yeah. I'm so, I got so sick of Isla Sorna and I wanted to go back to Isla Nublar, but it makes me so sad because the cool thing that I loved about Jurassic World was going back to the park. It's a functioning park, and now we're just back to... It not being anything anymore. Yeah, it's all yeah. destroyed. You saw the freaking archway all destroyed in the monorail. Monorail was freaking derelict right there, just yeah. destroyed. The cool thing is, though, seeing the Explorer back into play, and not something that took forever for us to see the Explorer, because there was that poster they released before with the raptor on top of the Explorer, um, and then it's it's finally happening. Yeah. The Explorer's turned over and the Raptor's chilling on top of it. But either way, I'm hoping that Ian Malcolm does ha get a much bigger role. Because like you hoping. said... It's very possible that that could be just the scene that he's in and that's it. I have a Which feeling. Sucks. I have a feeling that Use is... Go Jeff Goldblum! Use yeah. Him. Yeah, don't just put him on a bus and have him drive around in a circle. <laughs> Alien Independence Day resurgence. Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, and that's the thing. Is I need a little bit more in terms of uh, conflict. Uh, it, you saw some, like, big trucks going. I don't know if it's their trucks or what. Um, but uh, there's yeah, I mean, we, soldiers we need, coming into play. That's true. We just need a little bit more, um, like, I get, like, if it's just a volcano... I guess it'll just end up being, like you said, Dante's Peak or yeah. a volcano and stuff like that. Or uh, Joe versus the volcano. No, not that. Okay. <laughs> it's sure. got volcano in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, uh, it, I know B.D. Wong is supposed to be in it too, so Dr. Wu should be coming back. He was doing something a little shady in the first, uh, well, at least in Jurassic World. So What's his name will come back? Oh, just kidding. That's right. He gets eaten. Who? Which one? Oh, uh, uh, Hodge, Hodge, Hodgkins? Yeah. Hoskins? Hoskins. Yeah, Vincent D'Onofrio's character. Yeah. No, man, even though he's... But then again, did we We never really did see him, like, die. We just well, saw the... Well, he died. It that, latches okay, on that's his... That's true, that's And true. you could assume they ate him. But yeah. I want Dachshund back, even though the actor for Dachshund is a bad person and he's in jail, I believe now. Um, get the Dachshund character back and have him running the other engine, you know, the not engine, Dachshund's, you know, cyberdionics or whatever the hell it's called, and uh, have him come back in and start some ish. But again, then that starts to feel like the lost world. Yep, that's very true. And then you just kind of backtrack and we don't want that in our midst. We just want to go forward. Not back in time. Yeah, and that's... Oh, but they already went back in time because of the dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, they were there first. That was awesome that they used the VO from Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. But either way, clearly we have a lot to say about Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom. Um, we will be there opening night to watch it. Um, yeah. I'm just... Yeah. Ah! Sequels always let me down in the Jurassic universe. Yeah, so. we're just not... We're not setting our... Our sights high. We're, we're keeping it minimum so that we were kind... We're going in uh, just... 
just to you go in. You see all of the Jurassic Park crap we have? No, my sights are always high with That's Jurassic true. Park. That's why I'm always disappointed. But either way, we will find out when we see more from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So thank you so much for watching our reaction to the first teaser trailer to Jurassic World's Fallen Kingdom. Yep, really excited to see if they do something interesting and new with the Jurassic series. Um, clearly we're not going off the island and turning all the dinosaurs into commandos with guns attached to them, which is kind of- Freaking what lasers. <laughs> attached to their heads. But either way, thank you guys. You could like, you could subscribe. And you can do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Check out, we just did an interview with Nerd Chronic on their site. You can find all their information down in the description below. Yes, we talk about all the goodies. There. Everything you can think of, it was under there. Even spent a long, long time talking about Scream, Doctor Who. I don't think we talked things. about Jurassic Park, but either way, we should have. And that's what this video is for. But either way, thank you guys. Hit up the Patreon, kick into the party, feel the party, keep the party going, get this where we need to go. Just had a new episode of Better Late Than Never where we watched the old school trailer for 78 Superman the Movie. Check that out available yes. on our channel. It was a lot of fun. But either way, thank you guys so much. And this party is over? Yes. Done.